And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Gangplank's Fates. I know we've played it a couple of times recently, but we are uh, trying to get to Master's Rank. It's been the deck that we have been doing the absolute best with. And so today we're going to be taking a deep dive into this deck and just playing it all day. We're going to um, try to get to that top 700 in Master's Rank so we can qualify for the seasonal tournament that is this upcoming weekend. Uh, we are currently sitting at Diamond 2 80 LP at the start of the of the day, and I'll just go ahead and update this with our record. Um, you know, after every single game today, uh, this is like I said, this is the deck we've been doing the best with. So hopefully, we can rank up with it. This would be one of my three seasonal tournament decks right now. My seasonal tournament decks would probably be like those three that we played uh, yesterday with the seasonal tournament practice that y'all saw. Um, over on YouTube with Jarvan Shen, this one, and Vladimir Brom. That's what I'd be kind of thinking of right now. But let's keep on getting uh, some more practice today. So this is a little bit of a different stream, not something that I usually do at all. Usually, you know, we, we play our, our variety of decks all the time. Um, but, you know, with it with the seasonal tournament just being this weekend, only a few days away, and us not qualified yet because we're still in Diamond, uh, we're going to try to get some ranking up work done. So let's go ahead and get to it. This deck is is just solid. There's not it's not like you don't have like any spectacular finishes or anything like that. It's just it's a it's an aggressive deck that can also slow the opponent down pretty good. You're gonna have some different stun cards with Sentry or Twisted Fate Gold card that can get rid of blockers that, to help you get through. Or if they have a good attacker, slow down that good um, attacker. Or if they're going wide with a bunch of small units, you're gonna have your Make It Rains and your uh, Red card from Twisted Fate to, to slow those down. Um, and then those Make It Rain, Red Card, Sentry, all that stuff enables Ravenous Flock. And Ravenous Flock, of course, is just a super efficient um, damage-based spell. Um, and so that's kind of the deck. And then at the top end, you have Gangplank being a pretty big Overwhelm. You have the Dreadway that can double the damage. Uh, we haven't really done very much with the Dreadway in these games yet but when you play against the slower decks you really want those dreadways so i think it's worth it being in there all right but let's go ahead and, and uh get to it let's go and play our games today we're going to be heading on over to ranked and uh, let's see if we can get to masters so we're currently six wins away from masters but remember every loss knocks you down so if we like lose this one then we'll be seven wins away from masters and so on so we have to win six more than what we lose it's going to be tough to get there We'd have to have a real good record to get there. All right, so we're starting off with Lulu Zed. I like to see this kind of matchup. This is where we want our Make It Rains and our Twisted Fates. No Make It Rain, no Twisted Fate. We can keep Rear Guard. I think I'm sending the other two back. I mean, I could, I could have Demolitionist after the Rear Guard, I suppose. Yeah, I guess we'll keep that. Hey, Yuris Genius. I have two spells that cost three or less for... So I don't love this hand because my the two cards that I want, Make It Rain and Twisted Fate, we don't have either one. Um, but So, so Sprayfin has two cards to draw. It, it's either going to draw Make It Rain or Ravenous Flock. Those are the two we can draw. Get these good attackers in. We have one extra spell mana right now. I am the blade in the darkness. So we have one extra spell mana right now, so if we go spray fin next round and we grab either flock or make it rain, we'll be able to cast either one. Go ahead and stun that Zed so it doesn't get to attack. Here I am. Here is. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> so I block Lulu. They use Twin Disciplines or Sharp Sight to save Lulu. 
Is that worth it for me? I think so. We have to get rid of those cards. Anyway. Yawn! What's up, Yawn? Thank you so much for staying on that that uh, that streak there. Ten months. Thank you, Yawn. I uh, love spray fin to grab Mega Rain, as you can see. Yes. They'll never see me coming. All right, all three, all three. Okay, well, those are the best two. That's pretty nice. Brayfin just cleaning up both of those. And of course, now we got a three-three butcher. The order rewards its fate. You started without me. Hard to get rich. Okay, trading rear guard for Blade Scout, question mark. I'm not going to attack with the Sprayfin, because I don't want Sprayfin to trade with, with Blade Scout. I want Sprayfin to trade with Shadow Assassin. Um, the reason not to attack here is because this... Yeah, let's not attack. Because that rear guard's going to be you know important for like these kind of cards. Alright, got them down to nine. Ooh, where are you at? Two? That's not very far. Do not fear the Another Zed. I walk your path alone. I wonder if it's worth playing a gangplank to threaten blocking Zed. No, probably not. So I have to go demolitionist, not fortune croaker. Remember the objective. Oh, actually. Actually, never mind. Doesn't matter which one I do. Actually, never mind. I could have done Fortune Croaker. I will play my part. Yeah, could have done Fortune Croaker. You can't do this. Routes closed. Hmm. Yep, hey, I talk to spirits. These are my rules. Coming in hot! Night falls. Closing in on the mark! Why are you here? So, so that thing turns into a 4 3. I claim what is ours. I think if I parlay either one of their units that it would normally kill, I, th I, I think they are holding, you know, another sharp side or twin disciplines. I, I do. Uh, especially after they, they... Yeah, I think they are. So I feel like if I if I do that, they just save it, then the, sh the parlay doesn't do any damage. Do I look like a patient man? If I attack out, they could use one of those maybe to kill Gangplank. I'd like to just parlay after, after attackers if... Like, that's what I'd like to do. But I, but they, the problem is they could kill Gangplank in combat, and then we don't get to parlay, right? So like that's the problem. There's the sharp side, and yeah, there's them killing the Gangplank in combat. So that's yeah, basically I wanted to have parlay face, but. Okay. I was going to do the damage to the Grenadier and draw a card right there. The big thing. That spray fin make it rain. That was what was huge. Oh, unhelpful Yoda. Unhelpful Yoda's always a always here in chat and stuff. 
always watching the stream. Hello, unhelpful Yoda. Okay, uh, we're playing against Talia Action. I think I'll send this back. We'll keep the Grenadier Ballista. Okay, saving our one spell mana for the Flock Sentry combo. That's pretty nice. Must be nice living off stolen coin. Scum. All right. Do some trades. Get some damage in. Hey, what's up, Muffin? Uh, yeah, I can do the predicts. Earth Elemental is huge. A three five. Wow, that card is huge. Yeah, that's a big one. They play Talia. If they don't break. Oh, all right. Ground slam's not bad. Oh man, then the go. They had another blocker. Great, great turn for them. That was a great turn. Last, last turn playing this 3-5 was a great turn also. They've had two great turns in a row. And that's particularly good because I don't get to... I don't get to flock this thing. Yeah, that gem's a huge problem. Like that... A couple of great turns in a row. I think we're going to lose this one. This has been a fantastic hand. Alright, we could use some Twisted Fates. Gangplank wouldn't be bad. Spray thin. Okay, I'll take a spray thin. Yeah. Yeah, that gem was nice. Opponent. Good hand. Good deck. Good hand. Okay, Draven Ezreal. Okay, it's gonna be an interesting matchup. I got a lot of three threes. Okay, so I like Sentry Flock, and obviously I like Twisted Fate drawing a card. 
it's not a very aggressive start for us. I, w I would like to see like the um, rear guard. Hmm. The rear guard would be nice to have. Nope. Hey, Tog Racket Captive. What's up, y'all? There we go. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. What? Why didn't they attack? I'll do better this time. I do not like seeing. Oh man, double ballistic bot. I do not like seeing these ballistic bots. We definitely have to kill a ballistic bot. I guess this makes more sense to play. To just get another three-two and play. I want it so I didn't I didn't I know I could have done this like a, a before attacking. I didn't do it before attacking because if they had, you know, either their champions, Draven or Ezreal, I would have wanted to do that. At that point. But these created cards are so important for their deck. Can't really allow them to have multiple bots. Even just one bot's a huge problem. So this allows a red card or gold card, either one to kill that. If I block. This is Maybe I should have blocked. Run, I'm ready. Just need a second. Yeah, your opinion about your favorite deck? Absolutely, Yoda, I can do that. Alright, Sprayfin makes me more willing to have my Croaker do two damage to the bot with it, having that Mega Rain now. So obviously, we're going to trade three twos. I wait till next round. I'm gonna wait till next round. We can hopefully do damage to one other thing, but obviously we're giving them. I'm giving them one ignition, but we can do damage to another thing and also enable monster harpoon. I should leave. With, I should just play Fortune Croaker right there. They're not. They don't have a one mana unit. I should just play Fortune Croaker right there. For a deck with a lot of discard stuff, getting you know the three drop that creates the four Demacia, pretty nice. With that tri beam. Deal me in. I'm gonna go ahead and gold card because it kills that. Yes, yeah, so they would have been all the fast speed spell if I would have open attacked anyway with that. And now like the new block the next blocker we're gonna be able to stun with this thing. So they did have that. So this is going to be three, five, seven, nine damage. Put him down to two. Alright, we got to figure out how to get two more damage across. We'll probably figure out what we're up against. That's a good card. Oh, get rid of the sentry. Alright, so I think we'll just open attack. 
Or do we pl play Dreadway? So Dreadway will draw the Gangplank, which won't matter. But, like, the the, pro the one problem with playing Dreadway, like, then the, that enables, like, the stun cards, right? Like, Sentry or Tribe Even Probulator. Like, they can get, like, you know, get rid of an attacker and put a blocker in play if we play the Dreadway. Attacking, they have to have two fast speed removal spells, which is possible, but not likely. All right, cool. It's more likely they just have the third tri-beam or third century than two fast speed removal spells, I thought. Lurkers. Oh, I haven't seen lurkers in a long time. I'm not... I think we'll be okay, but not exactly sure about that. But I like like these stun things to like keep them from attacking. Make it rain only kills like one thing in their deck. I guess they just outrace rear guard, don't they? Because like they're not going to trade with rear guard. I don't think they're just going to let the rear guard keep hitting them. So maybe I actually have to mulligan rear guard because I need things that trade with their units. But man, rear guard's so good for us. I don't know. It's. If I would have something to do on two, if I, if I knew that I was going to be able to trade a little bit better, I'd want to keep that sentry. Okay, so this... Where's my axe? Wow, that's nice. That's a pretty nice life right there. Well, I do not feel so good about us winning this game right now. Remember the objective. For the glory of Noxus. Quick hands make quick work. Okay, ready. Strike at their foundations. Take it fair and square. Okay. Well, I'm happy they are trading. Happy about that. Keep that attack from happening if they put like pike on top. Don't let them get that. Keep up, keep up. Oh wow, a spray fin? That's Baby. smart. Spray fin's amazing. All the glitters. Bone sex good. You can still play like this Waking Sands and attack with that thing. Go get the shiny dove. It's a trap. All right, so that stays damaged, so I could still flock that the next round. But that does give me like number two out of five for the game playing. But yeah, there's there's that thing to attack. They have two Rek'Sai's in hand. I think this card and that card, I think, are both Rek'Sai. Treasure Seekers have been pretty nice for them, but let's see, they've gotten two attacks and have lurked four times in two attacks. Just a good lurk to attack ratio. I I think I'm just dead. Like if they if they use the whatever card that puts Rek'Sai back on top, call the pack, I think it's called. Yeah, they use call the pack, put that back on top, attack for ten. Um they can challenge like the powder keg. Okay, so now they can't challenge the powder keg at least. But yeah, we look we look pretty dead. Yeah, 
yeah, they had called the pack, put Rek'Sai on top. Make three more. GG's. This is just an incredible hand for them. Both of our losses, our opponents have had incredible hands. Which is kind of what it takes. Alright, two and two. This isn't the end. Alright, back to Draven Ezreal. So we did defeat Draven Ezreal the first time playing against it. Let's see if we can do that again. I like the rear guards. We're gonna save both of those and send these two back. Alright, cool. Not a card you see too often, but that's a card that does work out pretty well here for blocking a rear guard. I think I will. I think I'm going to Fortune Crooker, yeah. And then next round I can go rear guard plus Demolitionist. Um, Static Shock, though, is kind of a problem. Don't blink, or you miss me. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. If they don't, you know, if they don't play, we just save our three spell mana. Alright, so I'm probably I'm gonna uh, uh, monster harpoon this thing. I'll do better this time. Cause we kinda have to do that. Alright, so that's an Ezreal shuffle back into their deck. So they hopefully don't have the third Ezreal in hand. Don't draw it right away. We got some good cards. The world's a big place. Wow. Let's see all of it. We did have another one. Is that three out of six? Keep up, keep up. Okay. Watch and learn. I don't have any mana left to do anything with that thing. Unfortunately, I got to do something first. I'm always up for a round or two. And I, you know, it's it's kind of too bad that our two our two drops are demolitionists, right? Like this is like Grenadier. I can play the Grenadier first. Maybe they play another thing, then I red card. Oh yeah, that would have been such a better red card. That would have been a lot better red card. But that's how it goes. Wow, the third thermogen thermogenic beam. Alright, third one of those. If they don't break, they'll burn.
Sprayfin probably draws Make It Rain, right? Like, Because we've played, what, two Ravenous Flocks? No, just one. We've only played one Ravenous Flock. Never mind. Okay, so we have two Flock, three Make It Rain. I think this is going to draw Make It Rain. Gotta go with the flow. Yeah. Now I can just, you know, do that to kill the 5-1 and block here. And, <clears throat> and that, that allows me to, like, blue card the this Twisted Fate. So they just got one card in hand, besides like this Guile that's whatever, and I got like two of my best cards. But that if that card's Captain Farron, I mean I could trade Dreadway for Captain Farron just fine. Hopefully it's not. Okay. But now this Demolitionist is attacking for four instead of two. And we got that guy all out of their hand. It's Draven time. Whoo. Harpoon doing 10 damage. So we red card does two to each. Never lost a fair game. That enables the harpoon. You know, obviously, and the flock both. Let's do this. Raven down. <laughs> That's a dreadway right there. All right, three and two. Let's get, you know, win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one. Let's break that and keep winning. Win another one. All right, so that's our, our first five games for part one here of this Gangplank's Fate rank up. We're, you know, three and two. Okay, that's a winning record. If we if we just keep going three and two, um, you know, it'll take a little while to get to Masters, but we need to just keep getting those winning records. Our deck felt strong, like it has been. Uh, both of our losses, our opponents had really, really good hands, and that's what it kind of feels like. They got to have a really good hand to take us down because I love the consistency of this deck right every single game we're putting out a good consistent strong game and so I love that all right so we'll be back here for part two in just a minute here on Twitch and those y'all on YouTube you'll watch it later hopefully y'all enjoyed this one hit that like button leave those comments and uh, you know hopefully you're all enjoying this one deck road to masters but as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video